comfortable to just stand here? Right. Each one of you, what's your main driving force that keeps you writing poetry? For me, it's life in general. Like literally any day, any event, such as with um, what with what I was saying about the riots thing and, and the current affairs. Um, the one of the last poems I did was about domestic violence. And again, before I knew of a national, I never knew of domestic. Last month was domestic awareness, domestic violence awareness month. I had no idea, but um, I wrote that poem because a friend of mine was murdered by her boyfriend, and it was the year of the anniversary when I finished that poem. So she. The unfortunate event encouraged me to complete that poem with the violence part more focused and any other event that happens keeps me going personally. Yeah, I think mine is similar to like life in general or definitely, but I think that I've also got a really loud brain. I've got like a lot of thoughts going on a lot of the time and I just need to get them out. That's <laughs> why it gets a bit overwhelming so I just need to put them somewhere else outside of my head. <laughs> Yeah, for me it's still yeah, very much a way of processing thoughts yeah. that it's kind of like, it's just I have to do it. Um, and then in terms of then where where it goes from there, um, it kind of can depend, it can vary. Um, but I think, yeah, in terms of like, I don't know, sort of like thinking of it as a, I don't really think of my writing as a finish product a lot of the time, a lot of the time it's still processing and then seeing patterns within that in terms of whether it becomes a book or, or something else. You freestyle. It sounds like you freestyle, like you have an idea mm -hmm. and you'll start and it goes where it wants to go and may not finish or maybe yeah. yes, yes, okay. And then like I might come, yeah, come <coughs> through yeah. it, like, but yeah. I completely understand it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, same really, like I think I've just always used writing as a way of processing shit that happens and probably just become dependent on it so now it's kind of as it like I, I have to write and I, I don't know if I go a while without writing I feel like I'm missing some part of who I am and it's like I don't know it's just become a thing that I, I need to feel connected to myself and life so okay. thank you and to complain <laughs> <laughs> Media. I have social media, please follow me on my social media. <laughs> but um, a lot of people, you see, with your ha when you said hashtags in your one, yeah. I was like, here it comes. Everyone's going to start mentioning all their hashtags. And I understand, and my poems, as opposed to Twitter, is a fantastic way of complaining. And I've called out many companies. Harry Bell was the latest one. Yeah, so it's a great app. <laughs> one of you, what are your writing rituals, or what is something that you do <coughs> to write? I read poems a lot, so I, read, I try to, I went for a period of reading the Poetry Foundation website every day, um, now I'm too busy, but I, I try to do it at least twice a week, um, and yeah, read poems, and then try and write something in a response to a poem, and also just try and like copy the form sometimes, so I think like, okay, what's the technical side of this poem? And then try and copy that. And that's something which helps me stay inspired, I guess. Someone else is out there. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I would definitely say that's a part of it for me. Like I will go through phrases where I'll try and start writing sessions by reading something and um, see how that kind of inspires me. Um, a thing that I've found quite useful recently as well is kind of writing to a theme and doing that like over and over again so that you're kind of taking a subject and kind of exploding it into all the different places it can go and hopefully getting kind of deeper with it as you go along and that's um, that's basically something that I've seen other people do and I admire because I like it when a collection of work can become like almost like a dissertation where it gets quite deep into something so I'm that's the thing I'm doing at the moment and you'd think that you'd sort of get bored of the same thing but if it's strong enough I think there can be so many different ways you can take it so that can be a nice way just to focus your 
work a little bit so that you sit down to the paper feeling a bit like, all right, I know what I'm doing, rather than this can be anything, which it can be quite like daunting. I'm crap with rituals. Like, um, <laughs> And I get asked that quite a bit, especially in like radio interviews and stuff, and I go silent. <laughs> the shower is a fantastic place to start, uh, seriously. Like when people spontaneously sing in the shower, I will spontan spontaneously come out with a lyric, and I'm like, oh, my days, and I'll turn off the shower. <laughs> <laughs> or I, try to, I keep saying it to myself to hope that I remember, but I'm a person who, who proudly reads off the page. I don't um, try to re memorize a poem because that it takes up too much time, I just don't have that issue. Yeah, but um, I'm a spontaneous writer, and if anyone knows of a software, which there has to be one to exist, I can't be the one to create it myself. I want a software where it's speech to text, and I can speak in it, and it takes down the text, which I thought existed 10 years ago, but it's hard to find. That would be fantastic for writers. There is one. What's it called? It's called Otter. Otter. Yeah, as in, as in the animal. So they come around. <laughs> and all this stuff. Yeah. So I'm a spontaneous writer. If I have an idea, I have to write it then and there. If I don't, it escapes my brain. And this could, usually it's around 5 a.m. If not, when I'm in a shower at different hours of the day. Yeah, I've done that just on pages, like on like iPad. Wrote an idea. On the there's like just the um the app pages on like a iPhone or iPad. Oh, I'm not. I, I have a Mac, but I'm not a Mackie. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you just put it on dictation, and you could, it's not always 100% accurate. But I don't have to pay. But, uh, just, yeah. <laughs> that's a very fair question. You have to no, pay it's yeah. right. <laughs> Okay, okay, pages. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can't <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, for me, I don't really have a particular ritual. I'd say, yeah, more kind of spontaneous. Yeah. It comes to me, and then I go from there. Um, and I think, yeah, it's kind of like, I think it was a couple of years ago now since I've been freelance and I thought, yeah, I'll be able to yeah, kind of have these writing rituals, but actually I just end up with doing so many other things that it just becomes something that has to slot in. And I'll, I'm actually, there's um, a friend of mine has been, I've been doing a thing where I've been sort of texting just a few lines, just um, and then some days I'll find that that actually inspires like a whole poem, other days it will just be, you know, four lines. Um, so that's been something I've been doing since um, April um, and I've been coming up with something every day which is very unusual for me but actually it's yeah, interesting to see what comes out of that when you actually challenge yourself to do something every day. So, yeah. I think like giving yourself a constraint as well can be really useful and actually open up what you're doing much more yeah. because it forces you to write in ways that you might not usually do and it's because it's easy to fall into a thing of oh I'm just writing the same old poem but you know yeah like using forms or techniques or even saying like yeah I just can only write a sentence and then I leave it and then if I want to come back to it later I do or what it like yeah.